Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about flow and the different ways that we can call a flow. It's all we're creating one, but how can you actually go about calling a flow? Well, there's heaps of different ways, <laughs> and we're just going to be covering a few of them in today's video. To begin with, let's look at a screen flow. A screen flow can be called through a button or an action, uh, or it can even be displayed in a lightning page or in the utility bar. And a screen flow just appears as a screen that the user can interact with. Often it's a wizard for setup or for explaining something or for gathering data or information from users. Um, but the screen flow cannot be automatically called. All right, it needs to be called through a button or an action um, or through some sort of user interaction. The next way that we can call a flow is through a scheduled triggered flow. And this runs automatically to a recurring schedule. This is super handy for tasks that need to be performed daily on a set of records or monthly or yearly. Um, and it just handles those sort of jobs that have that frequency and that run on a recurring basis. Our next way of calling a flow is the auto-launched flows. And this is called through Apex. It can be called through Process Builder or it can be called through another flow. So they can be used to perform actions automatically that are behind the scenes. So they're not involving really any user interaction um, and they are launched through existing automation. So Apex, Process Builder or another flow. Our next way to crawl a flow is through record triggered flows. And these will be triggered when a record is created or updated, um, very similar to Process Builder. It's all about when an action or a change happens to an individual record, uh, we would trigger this flow and you take the actions that you specify. Our last type is a platform event triggered flow and these ones are called, as you might guess, when a platform event is received, uh, very similar to an auto launched flow, but specific to just platform events. Platform events are events that come from another platform or process, um, so they're not from human interaction. Often they're from external platforms as well. So those were the ways that we can call a flow. Um, it's one of the very first steps that you have to take when you create a flow. So making sure that you choose the right one um, obviously is the base building block for any good flow. I hope that that was a nice overview for you. Um, I hope that you go out there and build some awesome flows, try them out, um, and let me know what you've built in the comments below.